As Minnesota schools await the governor's announcement next week on what will happen this fall, Wisconsin school districts are putting out their plans. Hudson schools announced this week students will be back to buildings in the fall. But as WCCO's Liz Collin found, a new blueprint leaves plenty of room for choices and for changes once school starts. I think we were just happy to have a decision at this point. For the Headlands, that still doesn't mean it will be an easy one, whether or not to head back to class. Their second and third graders both have asthma, and their daughter went to the hospital with ammonia last year. Now we're weighing it like other people that have dual household um, workers is... What is that? You know, do we even really have a choice? Hudson Schools released this back to school blueprint this week, what the superintendent calls a tentative plan to return September 1st. This really is a, a detailed plan uh, that you guys must have been working on for, for some time. We spent quite a bit of time working on it. From mandatory masking to cafeteria capacity and classroom spacing, Nicolette points to a summer survey that 76% of Hudson parents want their kids back in school. The risk of kids being out of school is far greater than the risk of kids related to COVID. Olette says it doesn't mean those risks aren't being taken seriously, as they consider guidance from the American Association of Pediatrics. And just yesterday, the Centers for Disease Control that called the reopening of schools critically important if there is not substantial COVID spread in the community. This could be the next 12 to 18 months. We looked at it as if there's an opportunity for us to get back uh, and provide opportunities for kids, we're going to try our best to do that. Parents will also have options. Online learning in Hudson will allow kids to watch their class Classes and participate as time winds down for the headlands to decide what to do. It's a wild time to evaluate risk and reward. And I think we're just trying to take it day by day. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Wisconsin's two largest school districts have announced they'll start virtually this year. Eau Claire School said this week they're combining in-person and virtual instruction each week depending on the day and grade level. 